All right, back to Goldhof, our wonderful little village in Manor Lords. Let's see where we left off. Got our wooden church. Very beautiful. New, new development point. What does that mean? Oh, I have a development point. Cool. So I can get one of these things, I think. Basic armor making. Helmets. That sounds like I probably will need that soon if I need to fight. Charcoal burning. That sounds useful too. Sheep breeding. Sheep grazing on the pastures slowly multiply. Heavy plow. Alright, that sounds like what we should do. Heavy plow. Do a heavy plow. New message. Strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. All right, let's form that militia. Um, okay. I guess I, I don't know if I need to do that right now or probably not yet. There's that field. Alright, so what did I need that I wish I was paying more attention? So, something to do with plowing. New mercenary companies available. Great. Need to remind myself what I actually new family moved in. Nice. What did I disable? I think I disabled this one. Let's re-enable that since we got a new family. We have two unassigned families now. We have nobody assigned to the storehouse. And we do we have anything in the storehouse? Yeah, we do. Oh, we got more family members joining one of the sellers. Cool. Got the saw pit going. Making our planks. Logging camp. Forager hut. Yeah. What about Forester's hut? 
Yeah, let's assign a family back to the forester's hut so we don't get rid of our beautiful forest too much. Um, we got foragers. That's good. Wheat field. Twenty eight days. Okay. Granary. Nobody working there. Well is just a well. What about the church? Does anybody need to work there? Oh yes, someone does. Nobody's working at the church. What will we give up? How much firewood do we still have? 70? Alright, I think we can afford not to have a woodcutter and try to get someone working at the church. Now, I don't know if the person I assigned to work at the church is really appropriate, but hopefully it's a good fit for everyone. Okay. Let's see, what have we not built? Hitching post. Is that what I need? A hitching post? Alright, got our hitching post. Maybe we can assign one family to that that is doing something that we don't care that much about. So nobody's working at the storehouse, nobody's working at the granary, nobody's working at the woodcutter's lodge. So this is like the neglected quarter of our town. What happened to the market? Oh, there it is. Firewood stall has been abandoned. I guess that makes sense. Is there anything I can do at the marketplace to improve it, or it just kind of does itself? I know there was a bug in this earlier, I don't know if it got patched, or if the version I'm playing on has it fixed, but we will see. Sad little firewood shack. Nobody wants to chop firewood in this town. Hitching post is complete. Um, I think we can stop being a forester for now and let's just move things around and see how that improves logistics. In the saw pit, we should have. We have 20 planks. Do we have too many? Is that, what do each of these things cost to build? We got all those built. Sheep farm, that'd be cool. None of these cost any planks. What about these? Nope. Trading post? We should probably have one of these.
Yeah, let's do the trading post. That sounds like a good idea. Set it up right next to the church. Look at that. We got the crops finally growing. Looks great. Nice size field to start with. I hope. And this has two families assigned to it? Right, let's unassign one of you since we've already got it planted. And assign that to the forest. The forester's head. Um, now I think we need to start planning another area of town since we're running out of areas to build burgage plots. So maybe we'll build out this way. Well, can't really get through there. Can go around. Yeah, I guess since we've already kind of deforested this place, might as well. Make it curvy again. Let's try this one more time. There we go. residential road. Let's get another couple of burgage plots going. Plot too small. That's cool. And then let's do one here. There. Look at that. 
Huh. Yeah, that's the best one here. Alright, that should look really cool when it's all filled in. That's cool. Got some birds flying overhead. I wonder, should I start doing sheep farming? I'm gonna have a lot more people around pretty soon. A lot more people to work on things, so I might as well just start planning ahead. Sheep farm. Oh, sheep must be imported via livestock trader. Really? Okay, so we set up a trading post right here. Probably have to do a livestock trading post then. Not seeing it. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Livestock trading list. Oh, I didn't mean to destroy that tree. Too bad. Oh well. I wonder if it gives you wood if you accidentally destroy a tree. I also wonder, is this taking longer to build because I only have one family working on this? I'm thinking yes. I'm also thinking that uh, logging camps must have, but Forester's Hut, that can stay for now. Uh, on attended to while we cut down all the trees and build more houses, as any town that's growing should do. Let's, see. Let's fast forward a little bit. Okay. Well, assuming that gets imported, or I'm able to import sheep there, I'll just put the um, sheep farm somewhere. Alright, this is another case where we need to build another road since I've kind of locked this whole in area in. A bandit camp site, what? That's it's not close to us. It's not an area that I can realistically worry about right now. Where are the raiders exit? Not bothering me yet.
Nice looking red. And let's get that sheep farm. Maybe over here. Pantry is full. I wonder who's floating away today. Oh, we got it. Well, what's that supposed to mean, though? Is it just that nobody's gathering things? Storehouse. No. Granary. There we go. Let's assign somebody to the granary so we can get that pantry of 50 berries cleared out. And then for the sheep farm, I assume we need a pasture. Let's do 20 by 30. Nice little, not perfectly straight. Farm for sheep, so it looks nice. Just like this isn't perfect, but it also looks nice. Construction pit, a food stall. Look at that. Wow. We got food variety. We have no fuel, so that's uh. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have to have this man so that anybody gets fuel? I guess let's turn it on for just a little bit. This is almost done. How's our burgage block going? This whole neighborhood has not really been started. Maybe when they're done with this. I have told them to build way too much, so I shouldn't be surprised that it's taking a long time. Okay, now it's got fuel because we got somebody working there, so that makes sense. The granary. How are we doing with the berries? Let's see. Anybody taking it? Yeah, looks like it. The saw pit. We still have somebody working there. Let's take someone off the saw pit right now because we don't need to keep on sawing those logs. We don't need them for. Anything yet. Alright, got the trading post. Um, somewhere. Right there. Cool. So, trading post, we can. Alright, now we got livestock trading post. Perfect. Let's get. One family working there. Okay. And if we have somebody working there, can we trade and buy a sheep? Yes, we can. Import. One. 
Alright, the price is 30. How much gold do we have? Where is that? Wait, we have... Zero? Do we really have zero? No. That's not possible. Okay, so do I have to trade something to get money? Is that what I'm starting to come to a realization about? Alright, let's get rid of this person then. And we're going to... Well, maybe we don't need to actually assign a family to do trades. Let's sell some planks. since we just made a bunch. Um, I would need 30, so I'd need to... So that, I guess that's right. I just don't know how that actually gets done. Like, does the sheep just show up once I have enough money to pay for it, or how does that work? Oh no, I do have 50. No. There's 50 regional wealth. Got it. Okay. Alright, we'll see what happens with it like that. But I don't think I can assign anybody. I can't afford it. Why do I have to carry this, alone? this is being worked on right now. Lovely sheep farm. Or at least straight enough for this kind of work. I do hope we have enough wood to finish this building. It's been most embarrassing to run out halfway through. <laughs> it sure would be. Build that beautiful burger plot. Expand a bit. Hunting camp. Oh, now I understand. So we have these things right here and there's trapping that said I could have passive income. Oh never mind. That was the income. Corn suppliers. Permanent market stall which provides a passive income of firewood. Yeah I know. Okay, I get it. I just need to establish a trade route or something. 
That's what I'm missing. Okay. Where did it go? There we go. Okay. Trade. Trade route. Yes. The export price is two. Desired surplus. Yeah. Okay. The export cost is two, though. Maybe I should. No, that's fine. That's perfect. That's all I need. And then for this one. I should establish it, but I should probably do it afterward because I don't have this money yet. Got another burger plot. I really like how they make them all a little bit different. The way this goes diagonal across because of the weird shape of the plot, it's really cool. This person, I thought this person had green hair for a second. Turns out he just has a really cool hat. You there. I like your hat. Alright. Come on, laddie, come on. This is a really nice touch of this game, to be able to walk around. You get caught up in all the, you know, helping you progress and watching things get built really quickly, but then once that all happens, it's really nice to be able to just take a break and walk around and enjoy how much it's changed. You know, as you watch things get built, every time you go in here, it's just a little bit different looking. Like, I don't think I've walked around since the church was built. That's very cool right there. The birds out there. So cool. It's too bad we're all gonna die from the raiders in uh, several days, but it's a really nice town for now. We'll put up a fighting chance. We'll pour all of our resources into an army. Gave the old ox a handful of month old grain. He spat it in my face and tried to carve me in the middle. Okay, so this is our farmhouse. And this is our sheep farm. With zero sheep. Now, do I need somebody from the sheep farm to trade the sheep? Or to receive it? That is something I should consider. New family has started moving in. Awesome. So granary, we still have people working there and got a lot of stuff. Storehouse could definitely have somebody working there. Let's get to work. 
so I imagine we've got a bunch of extra things lying around everywhere. Did I? Yeah, nobody's working at the Forester's Hut. Unfortunately. Well, and somebody else just moved in so they can work at the Forester's Hut. Alright, 150 days before the attack though. Getting a little nervous. Total population is now 32. We got quite a bit of living space. Available. So when would this happen? I wonder. Maybe I do need somebody to work here. I still don't have the money from this, so I'm thinking it just hasn't happened yet. Alright, I'll let somebody else move in, or I'll just take somebody off of... Um... Oh, I wanted to try putting somebody on the sheep farm. So let's put somebody on the sheep farm. Take them off of the... Granary. And let's take somebody off of the woodcutter's lodge as well, because we're really not in dire need for that. Let's add somebody to this trading post and see if that enables us to get money to purchase the sheep. Or the sheep farm. We still got one family working on our buildings, but if we speed this up, we might get another family going. Work area is empty. Um, forager? You can't find anything to forage? There's no berries. It's a seasonal berry deposit. Oh, no. There's wild animals over here, that's cool. Alright. Trade point. Oh, it's a working process, but it's not available yet. Good times. Um, well, if there's nothing for you to do there, then I've got a house for you to build. So what does that mean for our hunters and hunting camp? Pantry has nothing in it. Are we in trouble? We are indeed in trouble. Alright.
Okay, got our brand new road for our new hunting grounds since there are no animals where we have our other hunting lodge. And that is not the best way to hunt. Gathering? Is that what that's considered? take people off of this hunting camp if it really doesn't have any large amount of meat. Yeah. What? Uh. What? Are you kidding me? Um... I don't know if I'm okay with that. Wait, did they steal it from my area? No. They didn't steal it from this one. It was stolen from our, uh, our region. Okay. That's fine. Okay. And let's just take that hunting cam and maybe demolish it. We don't need it over here. We're not going to use it. Oh. Did that really give us money? I think it did. Um. Where does it show our wealth, though? So, if I go and turn this on, or if I get somebody working here, maybe I can get the sheep. I'll just try it. Looks like I need like a pasture for the animals here, so let's put that right there. Got another burgage pot constructed. Look at this. That is a nice looking neighborhood. Is this the problem? Well, it's probably just because we don't have 
somebody working at the um, storehouse. No, we do. Oh, generic. Interesting. I don't understand. Okay, so this is the supplies area. But nobody can be assigned to that. Okay, so people are just worried about the one piece of meat there and because nobody's working at the granary. Well, I can solve that, I suppose. Get rid of the storehouse, do the granary. How's this hunting going, though? That's what I'm most interested in. Doing very good, actually. So is it just hunting there, or...? Mining, clay, stone. Alright, well, that's the next thing I think we need to be looking into is going to these different deposit areas. This would be a nice farming or pasture area, too. A little river? Little creek. Cool. I don't know how wise it is to build that far away though. Eventually I will though. I'll take somebody off the forester's hut right now. And... Um... Yeah, we'll have him work at the storehouse. Okay, so that was taken care of because I had somebody working at the granary, so I can take them off that. Although, I guess the granary is where I would be having somebody transport meat from here. Uh, wherever that is, yeah. So maybe I keep... I'll switch it after I get uh, yeah, I'll just keep this going. I don't need that much extra people just doing manual labor because I'm not really building anything else right now. I'm just trying to get these other things going. So 
I don't know when we're gonna get more money for that, but this definitely hasn't happened yet. So is this still about the 28 timber? I guess so. Oh, we got another worker. Cool. Family members joined one of the settlers. Guess they're not of working age. That's why we can't get another worker. Now I could continue this out, make more burgage plots, but I, I think most of these are not occupied yet anyway. Well, how do you upgrade? Fuel stall supply, food stall supply, clothing, clothing. All right, well, for clothing, I imagine I need the sheep. I don't have the sheep yet. Do I, I have somebody assigned to the hitching post? No. Let's assign somebody to the hitching post just to speed up logistics. How's our field doing? So are they going to harvest this? Is it not time? It looks like it's time. Well, that's good. At least we got that, that food source going. Okay, so did we trade just a little bit more or? Oh, I see. We have five more to trade then we should have enough money. What are you carrying? All right, so the granary worker is transporting meat. Perfect, that's what I was hoping. And a warehouse worker is transporting the hides. So yeah, this is a good call, building the hunting camp out here. Getting a way higher yield than we would have otherwise. Okay, so what did I give up on? We have no woodcutter, but we need to get that in order to level up. We have a food stall. Oh, so someone, does someone work at the firewood song? Oh, from the warehouse. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, so they all work for the warehouses. So there's another firewood stall that's, I guess, dedicated to the one family that worked there before. That makes sense. 
And our forager hut has gone dormant because there's no berries. Very sad. Oh, so this is really close though. So if I get another food stall, or if I have supplies of a different variety. Okay, so once I get start harvesting this, then I can probably do that. Upgrade. Construct a backyard extension. What? I can have a vegetable garden or a chicken coop or a goat shed. I can double the living space. Oh wow. This is... How much did I just spend on that? Oh my gosh, I spent almost all my money on that? I didn't mean to do that. How am I ever gonna get my... Now I'm bummed out. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, well. Guess I'll just sell all my planks. Um. I suppose I could... Oh, I see. There's no place to store just the wood itself. Well, that's, that should be an easy thing to fix. Wait. Use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and other another region in your command. Well, taxation sounds pretty great. Let's put that right around here. It still doesn't seem to be what I need, though. I need a place to actually store these planks. Or, not planks, but actual just logs. Or maybe it just doesn't matter. Can I expand the logging camp? Missing something here.
must have been the situation. Alright, so we still... Wait. Wait a minute. We have a sheep. This is Anna. It's our sheep. Oh. Well, that's awesome. Okay. No longer need to do any of that. Not importing sheep anymore. And we don't need to sell those either because who cares? Now we got extra workers. Um, those extra workers can sell some firewood, which is a good amenity. Oh, no. No, no firewood actually. I want you to. Back to forestry. Go, we need more trees in, to uh, help us out. Yeah, the logging camp. We've got too many, too much wood here. Too few things to build. But that can probably be overcome if I just build more burgage plots. Which is what I'll do. Put that around. Two more. watch these get built. Since that's pretty cool to watch. Now it looks like our firewood amount is going down finally, which is um, something I need to keep an eye on. I don't want to run out of firewood and everybody freezes since it's getting into November. So it'll probably start snowing soon. Speaking of snowing, is someone going to plow the field? Or what's going on here? Is plowing something that you guys are planning on doing? Yes. 
since there's just berries here, so there's definitely no plowing going on yet. But really, 276 days until I can harvest? It looks ready. Alright, I just saw our firewood go down again. New family just moved in. New workers. Wonderful. Let's... Let's, uh, turn on the woodcutter's lodge, since I, I noticed it's going down. Alright, pack station. Okay, this is cool. Do I need to get an animal in order to do this? Pitching post is being used already. Oh boy, here it comes. The snow. Alright, I think I turned on the uh, woodcutter's lodge just in time. That's our... I wonder, are berries just not being found anymore? Why do we still have so many berries? It's gonna be a rough winter. I'm worried we're gonna have to be fighting the raiders in a snowstorm. All right, it's time to visit my people again. Wow, look at how much it's changed. Hello, good sir. Sir, I don't know if you noticed, but half of your outfit does not match the other half. Oh, Good work, people. Very nice. I will visit the hunting lodge. Oh. Is that go down like a hill? I wish I had a horse. I could like ride around really fast. That has to be an option. Oh wow, that's so pretty. Not really the right kind of shoes to be wearing if they're gonna get buried this deep in the snow. Whatever, I'm a lord. Fresh meat, get your fresh meat here. No fine cups in the lane. 
Alright, off to the hunting lodge. This is heavier than it looks. Yeah, actually it looks heavy, so that's unfortunate. Alright, so this is the hunting lodge. I hear such good things about. And this is the hunting grounds. I wonder if I can get eaten. Oh wow, it really is good hunting grounds. Look at all of them. They weren't kidding. All right. Good times. So I don't get what happened with the wheat field, to be honest. And was that just for show? And that it actually wasn't going to harvest anything? That was just like a seasonal thing? Probably didn't start it early enough in the season for me to be able to harvest it and all die. That's my guess. Sure what else my town really needs at this point. I don't think anybody needs to be at the logging camp. They aren't doing anything there. Let's make sure that the basics are covered though. The pack station could be great, but So maybe this is just getting transported to the market. Yeah, that's what's happening. And we got eggs now. The fact that we have eggs now probably means we have more food sources, which it does. And now we can just do clothing supply because we have the sheep. Forgot about clothes. Ooh, tavern. Um, Weaver's Workshop. Okay, I think Weaver's Workshop is what we need. Shall we put that close to... our sheep farm? Thinking. Let's go, people. Yeah, that. All right, let's watch that get built. Sop it. Nobody's doing anything there. That's probably fine for now. Although that did get us money. Yeah, I guess it makes sense to get us off it. But now that we don't have the logging camp going right now, it's probably a good idea to just let the forest replenish with the help of our forester. All right, constructed another burgage plot, working on three more, four, four more. And then we'll have a pretty decent sized neighborhood that we can all be proud of. 
Maybe I'll build one more out here. This feels a little neglected. Why is this giving me such a hard time? This would be a nice, easy thing to do. Like many of your citizens, it needs ale to function. Not delightful. Windmill converts grain to flour, but I don't have any grain. Wow, the regional wealth has plummeted. Now it's down to just three. What's that supposed to mean? Um, okay. Now that we're kind of thinking about how to survive in general, I think we need to start considering how we would fare in an attack. Because we have 20 spears and 20 large shields. And we have 28 adults. Or, is that what it means? No. 28 men. Or just 28 males. Maybe that includes children. Okay, so it looks like for able bodied people, we actually have enough spears right now and shields for everybody. But we don't have any helmets, male armor, plate armor. Any of that stuff, nor do we have any resources, it seems, to actually take advantage of any of it. Um, iron deposits doesn't seem... Okay, no, we can do this. We can do this. Let's do that. Should I continue this road? Probably. It's already a nice little road. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Okay. Work on the roof, good sirs. Now let's bring this over to here ish and then bring 
Yes. Already here. This is heavier than it looks. Let's start mining over here. No deposit in range. Too steep to build. Hard to see where this trail ends. Okay. Alright. Now let's try it. Too steep to build. then. There you go. Okay. Make it work. Well, how how do you put a mining deposit somewhere that's too steep to build? Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Before I give up on my dream of having a beautiful mine right here. Oh boy, I didn't mean to do that. So. Wow, that's really too bad. It's like there's a deposit here, but you just can't get it. Wait. I'm about to what? I'm about to run out of timber and block myself? How am I... How am I gonna do that? Running out of timber. Twenty two timber. I think it's okay.
Well, maybe it's not to be with the um, ore. And I should focus instead on stone and just import the metal. But this is very odd that they would put something here that can't actually be mined. And like right next to it, there seems to be a spot. Like maybe if I just slowly go around in a circle of where it is fine. Steep. All of it's too steep to build. Can I flatten the land? No, can't do that either. All right, too bad. Would have been cool. Bring this out to here and build a mine. Is that stone cutters? I imagine that's what you need. Stone cutters can. Okay. Hopefully that unlocks some things for us. Oh my goodness, I have so many extra workers now. All right, so sheep farm. We got our, our lovely sheep right here. Anna, hopefully producing some wool for us. Let's see. That's not gonna be in there. It'll be in our Oh yeah, we got some wool. Sweet. This is almost full too. Need to think about expanding this. Upgrade to large storehouse. Yeah. Definitely upgrade. What about granary? upgrade to a large granary once we get the stone, so that's great that we're getting started with the stone cutting. And then the clay deposits. That's also mining, I think. Yep. Do they have a spot? No. Now we can build our clay spot. Oh, and then our stone cutting we need to add some families to once we have that built. So what are we not manning then? Do we have our forester? Berries aren't coming back anytime soon. Livestock trading, we don't have anything going there. Um, for storage, we do have 
some planks that we could sell. I guess we don't need to keep selling. Well, but did we start the saw pit again? Yeah, let's start the saw pit again, and then yes, let's keep selling so that we have that extra amount. And... Oh, we can import these things too. That's really good to know, actually. I guess I can't import those. Oh, we can import military equipment as well. Okay. Logging camp, let's get somebody working there again. We're running out of timber. This is under construction. We just need to get built. Let's speed it up. Mercenary companies available. Let's take a look at our mercenary companies, I suppose. Um, I I just want to wait till the last minute to start the army. And I might hire a mercenary if I have enough money for it. Which is kind of unknown at this point. I don't actually know how much money I have. I haven't figured that part out. I know I don't have 30 wealth. That's for sure. Oh, I can't buy a mercenary, can I? I've just figured it out. Three is the regional wealth that I have. All right, now it all makes sense. Um, let's get somebody on the trading post in case that's what's stopping this from actually happening. And build up our regional wealth in case we need to order some mercenaries in what appears to be a few days. Also, where are they going to fight us? I don't get that. And how are we doing here? This is very far away. I don't know how on earth they're going to get anybody over here to build these things. Or here. I mean, are they still building things over here? Yeah, they're building this. Is that the last one? I think so. Okay. Now they're building this. I'm 
until it's upgraded, does it still have the items stored there, or are, are they all just exposed to the elements, I wonder? Countdown begins. The Raiders are so close. 14 days. Oh, this is gonna be awful. Not looking forward to this. Alright, new family moved in. Great. You can join the resistance. Resource soiled by bandits, what? Where? Yeah, that's, that's not... Not my problem, not my resource stolen by bandits. Although I guess it's... Wait, is this whole thing gold? No. Yeah, no. I don't have any influence to claim these other areas. Really not done with this yet, huh? I think this is the time when I start to form the army. Can I hire a mercenary? No, I can't. This is awful. Um, alright, so we've got Spear, Cloak, I have 32 recruits, I have 20 Spears, oh boy. Um, oh boy, this is, uh, oh no, I hope I have enough time to do this. Are these my people? Rallying, or it seems like a lot of people who just show up all of a sudden. Um. Okay, rally. We're in a rally. Um, I don't know, I guess here? Alright, soldiers. <laughs> a 
Okay. This is cool. All right. Um, should I disband the unit for right now? Yeah. You're all free to go home right now. That's, that was just a... That was a test. See how ready you were. And do we have the equipment? Where is the equipment? Also, what happened? I thought that we had completed this large storehouse. Come on. Almost done. says equipment missing I think it just means that I don't have spears or equipment for everybody which should be a bad thing that I should be worried about but I'm just not gonna worry about it right now all right attack will be coming soon very, very soon. Okay. I think it's time. Rally troops. Raiders are near. Come on, soldiers. Let's, uh, let's get this over with. Now where are they? They're right there. All right, so what do we got here? We've got 18 people. They look angry. And we have a group of, I'm just gonna call them patriots, here to defend us. And we will meet them in battle. Go. completed. Survived the first year. That's my mission I completed. Nice. Well, probably be the only year I survive. Let's see. Alright, coming in hot. Finally finished construction of the large storehouse. Why did that take so long? Um, and it said not to be fighting uphill, so let's try to 
plan this where we're not attacking uphill. So if we can get that ground up here, across the river, that's probably our best bet. Run! Um, hold. Let's, uh, decrease fatigue. There you go. Now, how fatigued are they? Now, why are they so energetic and we are not? Come on, team. What? Where's that morale? Where's that energy? All right. It's going to let our effectiveness increase while they come try to destroy us. Okay. Now this is what I want to be careful of. Is I don't want them to come across the river like that and then be having the high ground. That would be bad. Which is exactly what they're going to do. Alright. I want you to fight with all your might. You got this. You got this. We lost anybody? Doesn't look like it yet. Yep, they lost one. That's good. Lost two. Three. Oh, they are getting clobbered. We've lost just two. Uh, you don't get to run away, buddy. Alright, um, thank you for your, uh, patriotism and hard work. You may now come on home. Cool. I didn't know how that was going to go. Um, the spears were probably what prevented us from losing everybody. Who's that? Some traveler? Oh, you traveler. Wait. I will. I will walk with you while my army goes home. By with you, I mean I will walk ahead of you. That's it. That's going to take longer than I'm willing to wait.
Well, I'm sure that the next mercenary we fight, or the next uh, raiders we fight, are going to be tougher than that. But overall, pretty impressed with how we handled it. Let's speed that up a little bit. In our hero's home. I guess, so now they're in our home region, so now we can probably disband this. Right? Yeah, disband the unit. Awesome. And everybody can get back to what they were doing before. Yeah, this large storage was a good idea. Our fields. Gonna be quite bountiful. Yeah, that, that time until it was harvesting, like that seemed like a ridiculous number of days, but now it's kind of not. How's our sheep? Hey sheep. Oh, and how are we doing with imports and money and stuff? I guess people are probably preoccupied killing raiders and stuff. Loggers camp. Looks like that's going still. Yeah, still got that going. It's nice that we have so many people now. We can actually get quite a bit done. Oh, and this berry thing we need to get going again. Perfect. Sheep got going there. Weaver's workshop. Let's add somebody to this. And then I'm not sure if they produce clothes or not. A bloomery. Oh, iron ore. Communal oven. Alright, that'll, that'll come soon. Yeah, we should have a tannery. That'll also produce clothes. Could I have the tannery right here? No. Not quite enough room for the tannery there. That's a good spot. Another family moved in. Sweet. Nice neighborhood right here. Oh, forgot to check on this. How are we doing here? Yeah, it's coming along. And this one is not started yet. Really. Well, looks like somebody's showing up. Get started on it. Okay. And then we can increase the size of the um, granary once we have the stone. More family members. Great.
Oh, clothing cell. Okay. That means we can upgrade. I believe. Oh. Never mind. We need to get armor? Like helmets? Oh. Remove units. Okay. Now we're good. Maybe these things will continue again now that I've relieved everybody from the army. Open so. What? Once again, not my area, but good to know. All right. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. What did we accomplish? We uh, made it through winter. We fought off the raiders. We built a lot more housing. We got started with a new hunting ground that is far superior to the other one. We discovered that we cannot iron uh, mine the iron deposit there because it is on a hill. And we have begun construction on stone deposits and we'll soon get started on the clay deposit in the next episode. I think that sums it all up um, for the most part. Oh, we also upgraded our large to a large storehouse and got started farming sheep, got started selling clothes. So really uh, starting to take shape. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.